Hello, my name is Atom and welcome to another video. I have not made a video in over a month, which is a very, very long time. And I am very sorry for any inconvenience I may have caused. Um, I haven't really done too much. I have to wear retainers now, so I took them out so that you can actually understand what I am saying. They're over there, staring at me like an evil monster. And today I'm going to be doing a video that I was going to do a long time ago on my old TV. This is my vintage tech series thing. This is my first video on it. But I decided it would be a lot easier to review something a lot smaller. And I've taken it out of the case for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway. Here it is. It's a black box of doom which says Kodak on it which you can't see because the camera is awful it says Kodak made in England I doubt that, it's probably made in China um, I believe this is from the 1970s and it is a Kodak I believe Kodak 177X Instamatic camera uh, this is just a box it's in, it's the black plastic key box. I don't know if it seems to match it perfectly, except this thing from the camera sticks out so the case doesn't close properly. It's got a little button thing, you can flip it open like that. And here is the camera inside. The front part of the box flaps open to the front so that you can still have it in the case whilst taking pictures. And you can have this thing around your neck. Ugh. There's also this thing which is on the camera itself, so you can carry it without the case. Uh, I haven't wound it up. Right, so, in order to work this thing, I think this is focus. So this, it's got some settings on it. It's got this strange looking light bulb, a sun in the dark background, some arrows coming out of it, and another sun. See down there is a Kodak logo looks like the old Kodak logo actually, I don't rec recognise that being the logo and underneath it says again made in England might be but I'm sure there's something in here that is not made in England not many things are anymore, although this is 1970s uh, here's the case, empty it's got this thing in it here so that you can see this thing here which I think is where the tape goes which records the pictures so you can see how much is left in there. You can just look through there and see through there into the thing. And here's the... I originally thought that was actually a flash, like a light, but it's actually the thing you look through to view the image. It's very strange. If I look through it, everything looks... strangely... it's like a magnifying glass, actually. Looking at it backwards, usually it's further away. And if I look in it, it's further away. That's all very confuzzling. Anyway, uh, see at the top, 177, no, you can't see that. 177X in the blue square, rectangle thing, Instamatic, in inverted commas, Instamatic camera. Uh, so, I believe this opens up the bottom so you can get into the tape thing. I can't remember what it's called. Yep, you push that up and something happens. Oh, I see. I haven't pulled it out. There we go. The back part of it opens up. See, inside, I haven't even put it in myself. Yep, but it just looks like the screen thing there where it takes the image because it, it, it lines up with that and there it looks like somebody's pulled all the internal organs out of the camera but I believe that's where the film goes and it just captures it on there and does stuff I'll close it before I destroy it I just push it in and it closes again just pull that out and it feels quite solid not cheap but I believe in order to work it, once you've got the film in, you pull that round 
all the way around and then back and then put it around until it clicks and then you let go and then you aim it up and you push this strange well it looks like a hook on the top but I believe it's the button to push the picture push the picture? take the picture and it clicks and I'm assuming that's it there's no flash on it but sir, I think this here is also something to do with the film I have no idea it's got an arrow pointing that way the, the, the camera. So that's pretty much it. Just thought it was an interesting thing. And the case, which appears to be official Kodak merchandise. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I haven't got any other things for it. So that's just a quick 5 minute 50, 1, 2, 3 review. 1 hour, 5, 6. Seven. Why am I counting? Review of the Kodak 177X Instamatic camera. I hope this was useful if you have one. I don't know why you would look up a review if you already have one though. And I hope it was interesting in any way. Uh, this was just a video to get me back into videos because I haven't done one in so long. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.